everyone and welcome back for math. Today for math we're going to be talking about charts and graphs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over some of the vocabulary words and words that you are going to see in our charts and graphs activity today. So let's first by going over graphs and charts. So they show data or they show information. So we've been working a lot with different types of graphs where we graphs where we graph our answer. So we could be like, what is your favorite food? And then based on our choices, we would graph to see which people like the most foods and which like the least amount of foods. Same. So that means in relation to graphs and charts, these two numbers are the same. So five and five are the same. Most. Eight or one. Eight is bigger or the most amount of votes. So most also means greater or bigger. Least, eight or one, one would be the least amount, the smallest amount. Least also means small or less. And then the total is all together. So if I had two circles and two triangles, the total amount of shapes I have is four because two plus two is four. So the total is all together. Just like when we do addition, the total amount all together. So we're gonna be seeing these words on our graphs and charts activity today. We'll be seeing graphs and charts, same, most, least, and total. So right now I'd like you to gather from your packet, this is going to be in your second packet, so the packet that we have been working on, it's going to be graphs and charts practice number two. Okay, you're going to see um, a title of the uh, chart, number of fishes caught, and then a title called computer test. You're also going to need a pencil for this as well. So the materials again is you're going to find the graphs and charts practice two. You're going to see two charts, number of fish caught, and computer time from your second packet, and you're also going to need a pencil. If you need a little bit of extra minutes looking for these materials, pause the video, and then when you have your, both of your materials in front of you, the worksheet and the pencil, press play so we can set up our charts. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is with our pencil, let's write our first and last name at the top of my paper. As I do that, I'd like you to write your first and your last name as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our charts to help us answer our questions below. So let's first look at this chart. The title of this chart is Number of Fish is Caught. On the side it has four names, James, Craig, Rosa, and Tony. Each of the fish represent how many that each person caught. So we're going to write the number at the end. So let's look at James. Let's count to see how many fishes James caught. And let's, you can count with me. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So James caught five fish, so I'm gonna write the number five here. So that tells me that James caught five fish. Let's go down to Craig and count how many fish Craig caught. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna write the number five here. So, so far we know that James and Craig caught the same amount of fish. They both caught five fish. Let's go down to Rosa and count how many fish Rosa had. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna write the number four here. And then last but not least, let's count to see how many fish Tony had. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when I look at my chart, I know that James caught five fish, Craig caught five fish, Rosa caught four fish, and Tony caught six fish. Now let's answer the first question together. It said, who caught the most fish? So we're going to look at all our numbers and we're gonna find the biggest number, so most. If we compare eight or one, eight is the biggest number, eight means most. So which number is the biggest number? We're gonna see who caught the most fish. So if I look at my chart, out of the numbers five, five, four, and six, I know that six is the most, and the person that caught, 
caught the most amount of fish is Tony. So I'm going to write Tony on the line. Tony, T-O-N-Y. And please write it as well. You're going to write Tony on the line. That's showing me that Tony caught the most amount of fish. He caught six fish. And then you're going to answer problem two and three on your own, but we're going to jump down to our next chart, which is labeled computer time. Okay. And over here at the bottom, it says each box on the chart equals one hour of computer time. So we're going to count the boxes for each person and see how many hours they were on the computer. So if you look over here at Mary, we're going to count up now. James, we counted across. Mary, we're going to count up. So Mary had one, two, three. So I'm going to write the number three there. That's telling me that Mary had three hours of computer time. If we move over to Leo, let's count how many boxes he has. One, two. So I'm going to write the number two here. So that's telling me that Leo had two hours of computer time. Moving over to Sarah, let's count how many boxes she had. One, two, three, four. So we'll write the number four here. So Sarah had four hours of computer time. Going over to Erica, one, two. Erica had two hours of computer time. So Leo and Erica had the same amount of hours for computer time, both two. And then last but not least, let's count how many hours Paul had. So let's count his boxes. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll write the number five here. So Paul had five hours of computer time. So now let's go here. So if we look at our chart, we know that Mary had three hours of computer time. Leo had two hours of computer time. Sarah had four hours of computer time. Erica had two hours of computer time, and Paul had five hours of computer time. We're going to answer number four together. Who had the most computer time? So who had the most hours, the biggest number? And if we look at our chart, three, two, four, two, five, I know that five is the bigger number, which means that that's the most, and Paul had the most of computer time. He had five hours, so I'm going to write Paul on the line. Paul, P-A-U-L. So Paul had the most computer time. Then on your own, you're going to complete five and six. But before I have you complete the rest on your own, let's jump back and review our vocabulary words that are going to help us complete the rest of the questions on your worksheet. So we talked about graphs and charts and they show data or information. Our first chart talks about the number of fishes caught that each person caught. And our second chart tells us the number of hours each person had of computer time. Same means that both numbers are the same. For example, five and five is the same. If we look at our first chart, we know that James and Craig both had caught the same amount of fish. They both caught five fish each. If we look at our computer time, we know that Leo and Erica both had two hours of computer time. They both had the same amount of computer time. Most, eight or one, we know that eight is the most, the biggest number. So when we look at our number of fishes caught, we know that Tony caught the most amount of fish because he caught six fish. And when we look at our computer time, we know that Paul had the most hours on the computer because Paul had five hours on the computer. The least means the smallest number. So if we look over here on our fishes caught, we know that Rosa caught the least amount of fish because she only caught four. And when we look here, the least amount of computer time that was spent was by Leo and Erica because they only had two hours of computer time. Then when we look at total, it means all together. So we would add everything all together. So if we were to see how many, how many um, number of fish is caught in total, we would add five plus five plus four plus six. So that would be 21, so we would count all of our fishes. So if we counted, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 fishes were caught. That's the total amount of fishes caught. If we were to count the total amount of hours of computer time from all of the five individuals, we would get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 total hours of computer time was used based on these five people. So now your job is you're going to answer questions two and three by using the first chart above, and then you're going to answer questions five and six by using the second chart below. When you're done with your work, you can have a parent or an older sibling or an adult take a picture and send it to me. After math, it will bring us to our last and final activity of the day, life skills. So I will see you all back in life skills.